A lot of people right now are talking about Elon and the tweet that he sent out about Tesla not accepting Bitcoin as a payment method for their cars. And if you missed the tweet, here it is on the screen for you guys. If you want to pause it right here just to read it real quick, and then I'm going to analyze and tell you a little bit more about each part of the tweet and what this might mean for Bitcoin and also what everyone has on their minds about this said tweet. And for those of you who might have missed the old news leading up to this tweet, originally a few months back, Elon and Tesla announced that they're not only accepting Bitcoin as a payment method for their cars, but in addition, Tesla was gonna take some of their allocated cash and put that into Bitcoin. So obviously this recent tweet is a complete 180 from what they were saying earlier. So why all this flip-flopping about Bitcoin? So obviously, if you remember from the tweet earlier, I'll put it on the screen again, Elon and Tesla, and probably some people on the board of Tesla, are concerned about the eco-sustainability of Bitcoin and the amount of fossil fuels that is required to use it for transactions and for mining purposes as well. Now, I'm not sure if Elon has done the proper due diligence or not, but analysts at ARK Invest actually say that around 76% of Bitcoin mining are actually using renewable energy already. Now that doesn't mean that all of Bitcoin is using renewable energy, but it's most certainly a majority. So obviously either Elon didn't do the research properly or more likely that the fees of doing these transactions are too high for Elon to handle. What do I mean by this? Well, there's two parts to this argument. The first part is if I, as a consumer, were to go buy a Tesla vehicle using my Bitcoin, I would send the Bitcoin to the Tesla wallet address that they specify, and then Tesla would have to go in and sell that Bitcoin. Now, the problem with that is the fact that I, when I send my Bitcoin, I pay a fee to send that Bitcoin over. And it can be, you know, a decent sized fee. And in addition, when Tesla goes to sell that Bitcoin for cash, or if they decide to hold on to it, obviously then they can't report it as profit, but let's say they sell it for cash slash fiat, they also end up paying a large fee on top of that. So their profit margins go down. Now let's say they solve for that and they make you pay a little bit more if you're paying with Bitcoin to be able to handle the fees. Now that's great and all, but what if Bitcoin's price drops overnight? Like for example, let's say that they only sell Bitcoin once a week or maybe every 24 hours, right? They get all these purchase orders with Bitcoin and then they decide to sell it every 24 hours or maybe every seven days. Whatever cycle that is, they run a risk of either Bitcoin's price going up and they make a bigger profit, which is great, but they also run the same risk of it going down. And usually when it goes down, it goes down drastically and very, very quickly, which means Tesla's profit margins become that much more slim. And on top of all of that, Bitcoin transactions take a long time to process. Bitcoin transactions are very, very slow. And in my opinion, I think Elon is thinking on that front and he's using the eco side to stay true to his mission statement at the same time as not even having to mention the real root of the problem, which happened to be the transaction fees and the length of time in between transactions. So should we be worried about Bitcoin and it going to zero? I don't think all hope is lost for Bitcoin. If anything, I think this is a positive sign for Bitcoin. Let me explain. As you remember from the tweet, Tesla said they are not selling any of their Bitcoin and plan to use it for transactions once again, as soon as mining transitions to more sustainable energy. That's what we all want. So I don't know if Elon Musk is talking about 90% sustainability, 99% sustainability, but I also have another theory that I think you guys might enjoy. And someone on my TikTok actually mentioned this, so shout out on there. And if you wanna join the conversation there, it's just at happy to be rue just like it is on my Instagram, it's the same for my TikTok. But this theory is super, super interesting. Now, this theory essentially uses all of the technology that Elon has at his fingertips to create a more eco-friendly environment for Bitcoin to thrive. Wow. Now, let me explain that. So if you think about it, he has gigafactories, right? And on top of those gigafactories, he has solar and inside the factories, he has battery technology and supercomputers running the whole operation. And another company of his, which is SpaceX, is working on a project called Starlink. And Starlink provides internet access to pretty much anywhere across the world. At least that's what they're hoping to do. And they're getting closer and closer to that goal every single day. Now, when you put the pieces together and you say, okay, well, if you wanted to mine cryptocurrency or Bitcoin in this example at a large enough scale and it be eco-friendly, you need a few things. You need one, solar energy. Two, you're gonna need batteries. 
Three, you're gonna need supercomputers. And four, you're gonna have internet. And when you put all those things together, what do you get? You get all of the companies that Elon has started in one big bundle. Now my curiosity is, is it worth putting all of those things to work to mine Bitcoin? Or is it better to mine something else? And for Elon to start his own project pretty much from the ground up, I don't know the answer to that. And we'll just have to wait and see on what develops. Now in the tweet, Elon does hint at something and that is that they're exploring other projects slash cryptocurrencies that use less than 1% of Bitcoin's energy per transaction. Now I know what you might be thinking is, all right, there's a ton of cryptocurrencies. A lot of them have a lot of potential and at least have a more eco-friendly or eco-centric network around them than Bitcoin. So I compiled a small list of projects or cryptocurrencies for you guys to check out if you are curious to know which ones are a little bit more eco-friendly or a lot more eco-friendly for that matter that Elon may be inferring. The first one on the list is Cardano or ADA. The next one on the list is Stellar Lumens or XLM. Then we have Nano just like it sounds, it's N-A-N-O. Then we also have EOS, which is a competitor for Ethereum. There's also Burst Network or B-U-R-S-T. Holochain, which is H-O-L-O. -O. Algorand, which is one of my personal favorites. And the symbol for that is A-L-G-O. Who could forget Ethereum 2.0, which is coming on the horizon. And one of my favorite projects, which is a proof of stake, which is NEO, which is the Chinese Ethereum, which already has that Ethereum 2.0 kind of integrated into it, where it behaves as a proof of stake versus a proof of work, which is what Ethereum is now at the time I'm making this video. And of course, that doesn't disclude Dogecoin. Now, of course, this is all just speculation and just some of the projects that I thought I should mention, since Elon said they are exploring the eco-friendly coins or cryptos. And so some projects that I think you might be interested in. Now, of course, at the end of the day, Elon could just go out and create his own cryptocurrency project. And that doesn't mean that he's not already working on what I just mentioned here today. Let me know what you think Elon is up to down in the comment section below, what you think of my idea, and also what you think of this news. Personally, I think this is just a great opportunity to buy the dip in some of my favorite cryptocurrency projects, especially ones that are taking 20 or 30% discounts at the time I'm making this video. Hopefully you guys got a ton of value from this video. If you did, please smash the like button. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna share this with a friend who's interested about this kind of stuff or is interested with Elon, or Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies in general, share it with a friend. Also, if it's your first time to the channel, make sure to subscribe. That way you never miss an awesome video like this one. Hopefully you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. Feel free to check out the links down in the description below where you can get a free stock from Robinhood, $20 free from Stash, two or more stocks free from Webull or $10 free from M1 Finance.